Hello, hello. Hi, Flick. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Today, we're going to be talking about the Gin X e-bike. Rahola Marina from Gin delivered the bike and we had a month to give it a good thorough testing. Connected to the Burley trailer, we used it almost daily for Flick's nursery run, as I firmly believe the combination of an e-bike and a trailer could replace thousands of cars on the UK's streets, as it does in much of Europe. I also took it out on my own to test it on some really steep hills and to see how it performed off-road. Thanks to Gin for sponsoring the video and I must add that this will be a 100% honest review. You can find out all of the exact spec on their website or their YouTube channel, but in this video I'm going to show you how it performs for general use, off-road, hills and with the trailer. Doing a speed test. Rahola Marina actually came to our house and dropped off the bike and they explained everything about it and what they're about. They've only been around since 2021, but so far the demand has been huge. There was a bit of a delay in some of the deliveries which come from China, but they are based in Reading in the UK. So if you need anything at all, they will call you, they'll video call you, and often you can bring it in or they will actually visit you as well. Um, but ultimately, because they're based in the UK, that's just such a massive plus if you're gonna buy an e-bike. You wanna know that you can call someone, even if you've got a little niggle, they'll be able to answer. They're building the bikes with quality components and they're building it so that they can sell it under a thousand pound to hopefully bring it to more of a mass market because a lot of the e-bikes out there that I've seen and tried a few are over two, two and a half grand. And actually a lot of it is very similar to what you can find on this bike. Is it okay, Flicky? Go that way. We'll go this way. If I was feeling tired, we'd often just jump in the car. But with the e-bike, we cycled nearly every single day. Just getting up to the main road. Very busy road, schools are back. And just use that little boost of throttle just to push me away. And then I can safely get across the road. When you've got the trailer on and you want to push off from a junction, it can make you quite slow. So you have to really judge it or wait for a really big space in the traffic. However, when you've got this little throttle boost and the pedal assist, you can just push away with zero effort and know that you're going to make the gap safely so you can cross the road. Ready? Seatbelt off? Yeah. Head, head back. <laughs> So this is quite a steep incline going over the top of a, a railway and I'm on pedal assist, power number five, and honestly, it is zero effort. And normally with a normal bike, cycling with the trailer, it's quite hard getting up these steep hills. Really, really impressed. So we're just gonna head along the Salterns Way now, down towards Chichester Marina. We're gonna dive off and go to Del Key. Just turn it back on again. So we see when it turns on. And then I just normally ramp it up to three or four, five if we're going a bit uphill. And we're ready to go. There are various optional extras you can choose like the comfy seat and the pannier rack, but it does already come with the stand and the mud guards, as well as the front and rear lights. So yeah, really happy with it. Suspension is fantastic as well. So going on this kind of off-road trail, which is a cycle path in England, is really, really easy. Flick's pretty happy in there. Happy Flicky, not too bumpy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, so sunny. Not, oh, it is quite sunny, but you put your sunglasses on and you'll be okay. Right, should we go to the pub? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. These tires really do handle this terrain really well as well. I've been out here on my touring bike and my road bike and it's really bouncy. It's so, so smooth. I'm really impressed you can, you, you can drive anywhere with this thing. I 
found the battery life to be better than other e-bikes I've tested in this price range. And with the power on maximum, I still got around 40 miles, and most of that while pulling the trailer. Charging was super fast too, getting to full in under three hours. So now I'm gonna do a very basic hill test. We're gonna go off-road, so it's very flinty, big dips, so it's be a good test on the suspension. And I'm just gonna see how easy or difficult it is to get up the top of the hill. It's a fairly steep gradient up here to the trundle, and it should take about five minutes or so, but I'm gonna see how much effort I have to put in to get up there. Um, I've ridden up here on my touring bike a few times, and it's quite hard work, so I'll be interested to see how this, how this does. Okay. It's already getting a bit hilly and it's so easy. It's absolutely flying up. This thing really, really does make it fun. This is a really steep hill, I'll show you. I don't think you can really tell on the camera, but we're going up a fairly steep hill and I'm barely pedaling, just on the pedal assist. Oh, quite a few big bumps here. It's handling the off-road really well. I mean, it's not built to go off-road purposely, but it does a fantastic job. So if you're going for a nice long cycle and you, end up on a trail like this, I would not be worried at all. Obviously I've got the suspension unlocked at the moment. You can lock it back on if you want a bit more power on the road when you're cycling just on normal paths and roads. But get it unlocked, get that suspension going and it's handling it with ease. We are literally cruising uphill over huge bits of flint and stone and I'm still cycling one-handed. Going sort of an average of 10, 11, 12 miles an hour. And just makes it, oh fuck. Just makes it really enjoyable. So I think if you're looking to get an e-bike and you're umming and ahhing and why would I have one, etc., they're just great fun. For an all-rounder under a grand, I'm pretty impressed. And my, uh, my expectations weren't particularly high. But look, I've just come up this huge hill I don't know if you can see it here on the action cam, but we can see the sea over there, Isle of Wight. And this is a pretty big hill. So to come up effortlessly, one-handed most of the way, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed. So I just made it to the top of the hill. Sadly, the coffee shop was uh, shut, but no drama. Beautiful spot, but made so much easier riding up with an e-bike. I say, if anything, it almost deals with the off-road better than the road. It's got these big old chunky tyres, which are just eating up these flint zones, no problem whatsoever. Overall, I was really impressed. The battery life was better than expected, the ride was really comfortable, and it pulled the trailer with really no trouble at all. It tackles pretty much any terrain, it looks great, it's priced sensibly, and I think with the updates to the newer models coming soon, you really can't go wrong with a Jin e-bike.